In a cafeteria, a student in a wheelchair rolls her way to a table. Hi guys. Hey. How's it going? Good. For more than 20 years, the University of Washington Stewart Center has been an advocate for students with disabilities, empowering them and providing a supportive community as they enter college. Cheryl Bergstaller is the founder and director of Do It, which stands for Disabilities, Opportunities, Internetworking, and Technology. Cheryl Bergstaller. I felt there was a real need. We have special ed programs, we have services for people with disabilities. Founder and director. But I thought there was a need to actually connect with teenagers who have disabilities and have them help them transition from one phase of their life to another. And there isn't a safety net there. And so my idea was to connect with teenagers with disabilities and have them become part of a community. My name is Eric, I'm deaf, and um, I'm planning on um, majoring in English and um, with an interest in business. Hi, my name is Caleb, and I am a sophomore here at the University of Washington, where I am double majoring in Law, Society, and Justice and Disability Studies, and I want to take that and eventually become a disability rights lawyer, and I was born a congenital amputee missing three of my limbs. I also thought there was a need to have more leaders in the disabled community. And students don't become leaders if they don't have leadership experiences. And so within the Do It program, we provide them with experiences to become leaders, like mentoring younger students. That happens every summer at Do It Summer Camp held at UW. Students from all over the state who have disabilities learn about college, technology, and each other. What they find out when we bring together other students with disabilities with them is that there are other students that are facing some of the same challenges that they are. But they also learn about different kinds of disabilities. So a student who has dyslexia, for instance, will learn about challenges faced by a student who's blind. At the camp, Anita, who uses a wheelchair, talked with Eric about macular degeneration. How do you cope with your disability, Eric? Um, I mostly just ask for help. A lot, like I need, I need larger print papers for all of my tests and I need extra time because my eyes get tired really easily. Do It's goal is to prepare the students for successful careers and in order to get there, they need to succeed in college. It's important that people with disabilities are able to access programs and resources just simply as a matter of social justice. Scott Bellman. The amazing thing about being here such a long time is seeing some of the students just kind of grow up right in front of me. Program so manager. When I started 15 years ago, you know, the students I met were 15 years old and now they're 30. And it's really fun just to see them all, um, you know, find their way and, and uh, create a life for themselves. Do It has taught them they can do anything. A row of tables with several students in various types of power chairs. Described by Audio Eyes.